Thompson in the third quarter on 123 2015 had 37 points, 13 of 13 from field goal, and 9 of 9 from three point field goal. Honestly, the 13 of 13 from field goal is very impressive, and 9 of 9. He missed a single shot in the third quarter. This is honestly very impressive. And with him coming back and not playing for like nearly three years, I think he'd still do something like that scoring wise. I wouldn't be surprised if one game this season he had like 40 plus points or dropped a 50 point game this season. What do you guys think about this? NBA schedule for today and the Knicks versus Clippers. I think the Knicks are going to win that one. Wizards versus Celtics, Celtics, Lakers versus Heat, Lakers, Magic versus Bulls, Bulls, Portland versus Toronto, Toronto, Hornets versus Hawks, Hawks, 76ers versus Spurs, 76ers, Mavericks versus Memphis, Mavericks, Nets versus Timberwolves, Nets, and Nuggets versus Pistons, Nuggets, Warriors versus Jazz. I think the Jazz are going to win that one. What's your opinion on each of these games and who's going to win? I personally think that the Mavericks versus Grizzlies game should be on TV. I think that's probably the best game on today, and I think it should be on TV. NBA TV or something like that. A regular station you cannot have with the league pass. 15 years ago yesterday, Kobe against the Toronto Raptors dropped 81 points, the second most in NBA history behind Will Chamberlain with 100. He was 28 from 46 to field goal, 7 of 13 three-point field goal, which honestly, very impressive with three-point field goal, making that many threes. I, w I was kind of surprised when I saw that he made that many threes in that game. And comment below your opinion on this game. This and Ngannou beat Cyril Gain last night. It was honestly a great fight last night. Gain was really kicking all I felt like. And I felt like nothing really landed or he didn't really take that many big shots. He had one kick to the almost the head. I think it missed him, but that would probably knock Naganu down or something like that. But Gang got taken down a lot from just like slamming the ground and stuff like that. Naganu did do a lot more ground game than he usually does. And didn't really do that many, too many hits or throw me that power jabs that much. So what do you guys think about last night's fight? And he's still the undisputed heavyweight champion. Honestly, a great fight to watch.